to your imprint tutorial series. In this video, we will learn how to fill out the special project vaccine enrollment form for COVID-19. Upon completion of the site's training session conducted by an immunization compliance team member, the registry widget now appears white in color. Click on the registry widget as shown here. The site administrator of all enrolled sites will have the Special Projects tab. Release the Special Projects drop down menu as shown here and then click on COVID-19 enrollment form. The Special Project Vaccine enrollment form for COVID-19 is now displayed. Please read the first section carefully as this section contains all of the agreement requirements. The next section contains the site information. Please review for accuracy. The next section contains the responsible officers. Please provide all of the required information for the chief medical officer. In the case of a pharmacy, the chief medical officer is the physician that supplies the standing order the pharmacy uses to vaccinate. Please also provide all of the required information for the chief executive officer or chief fiduciary. In the next section, please provide all of the information for the COVID-19 vaccine coordinator. Then provide the information for the COVID-19 backup coordinator. In the next section, please provide the site address for the COVID-19 vaccine shipments. In the next section, provide the times that vaccine can be delivered to the location using the clocks. Be sure to account for any closures for lunch, as shown here. Then, in the next section, select the provider type for the location. In this case, we are an independent pharmacy. In the next section, select the setting. In this case, we are a pharmacy. In the next section, indicate approximately the number of patients routinely served by this location in each age group. Remember, this is an approximation, but you want it to be as close to accurate as possible. Although this is the COVID form, the next question asks about influenza. Please enter the number of influenza doses administered by this site in the previous influenza season. In the next section, indicate how many people your location serves in the displayed categories. Try to count each patient only once. In this case, we are a pharmacy that will be serving other people at higher risk for COVID-19. So all of our doses will be indicated in this category. Don't forget to enter the total number of patients served at the site. For the next question, indicate whether or not your site currently submits immunization data to imprint. Check yes and indicate whether or not the submissions are manually or by HL7 interface. The site ID should auto populate. If you check manually, Another question will pop up asking, are you interested in creating an interface with imprint? If interested, click yes. If not, click no. The next section contains refrigerator instructions. Please read thoroughly. Then indicate how many doses your site has the capacity to store at each of the following temperature ranges. 
Once completed, please enter all of the manufacturing information about the vaccine storage unit. Once done, verify the provider information in the bottom section and once all information is verified correctly, electronically sign the document. And then click Submit as shown here. You will now see a pop-up box notifying you that your enrollment has been successfully submitted. Click OK. Now that you have completed your special project vaccine enrollment form for the COVID vaccine, your enrollment form must be processed and approved by ADPH staff. Once the COVID enrollment form has been approved, the site administrator will notice the appearance of a new link. The vaccine ordering management system link is now visible on the left side of the screen. This is the link that will be used to actually place the order. Vaccine ordering will be covered in the next video.